My name is Carter Garris. I play at Wando High School. I'm class of 2022, currently committed to the Citadel. I'm a catcher and pitcher, and this is day of my life. So I got into baseball uh, when I was about three years old. My dad took me out to the field and it was our like first t-ball game. And I played t-ball for a couple years, moved on to kid pitch, played kid pitch in the recreation department for a little while. Then I went and played travel ball and, you know, kind of took off from there, started playing more travel ball, did some more stuff, went to bigger tournaments. And then, yeah, it got me to where I am now. So I had a lot of offers coming out of my junior summer and just basically the Citadel has been my dream school since I was, you know, old enough to watch baseball and I kind of just felt like their coaching staff treated me better than any other coaching staff and they actually have a tough schedule and they play a lot of tough teams so I thought it was a good position for me to go and do and also they have the, one of the better nursing programs in the state of South Carolina so that sets me up for life after college if I don't play Pro Bowl. Hey guys, I had to jump into this video real quick to talk about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Have a specific skill you want to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography to YouTube, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. I have been taking a class with Neil Gunner on Introduction to Sports Photography. Being that I started in photography before becoming a YouTuber, it's always good for me to brush up on some new techniques when shooting photos for these episodes. Thanks to Skillshare, I have access to these classes to continue doing so. Skillshare is ad-free, so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills. New premium classes launch each week, so there's always something new to discover. The first 1,000 people who use the link down in the description or use my code SHOPBYHYPE will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring the video. Now back to the episode. Big field. So the, the first offer I got was from Air Force and my brother had just committed two days before to Clemson. So I was, you know, I had worked for it in that tournament in Atlanta when he committed. I was, I had three, four home runs. I was doing good and Air Force called me and they reached out and offered me and then College of Charleston did the same the next day. And then I was waiting on the Citadel and I was thinking, why aren't they coming to me? Why aren't they coming to me? And it was just because the coaches were talking together to see what to put together for me. And, you know, as soon as that offer came in, I immediately wanted to commit. But I had to wait a little bit and, you know, feel it out, think about it a lot with my family. And, you know, they came to a lot of my games before that. And they've also came come to a lot of my games after the fact of me committing. So they're there to support me and they're always been there and they're always going to be there. So.
No, not really, because I know that in Division One baseball programs, there's a lot. There's you're not the best guy on the team. You're not gonna ever be the best guy on the team, and there's always gonna be somebody on their on the team that's better than you at something. So you're always gonna have that place that you have to do your best to contribute to the team. So all I know is if I do my best, then the team will be happy with me and they'll hope will hopefully win. My biggest strength I bring to the game is by far my power and my hitting. I hit nine home runs last summer and the summer before I hit 10. So, I've, and this summer I hit eight. But I feel like just being able to hit the ball far and hit the ball out of the ballpark with uh, runners on base and, you know, RBI count up and batting average 300, but the RBIs are 50, 60 plus. And, you know, I feel like hitting is my biggest advantage. And then my weakest advantage is probably, I would say something to do with my pitching, my mechanics. I throw hard, but my mechanics aren't as polished as they should be. And hopefully when I get to the Citadel, that is one of the things that we can get done in the first few weeks of me being there. My top three favorite players in the league, well, three is Jazz Chisholm, by far, Marlins player. Just got to the league. He's probably one of the most swaggiest players to do it. Um, and then two, probably Nolan Arenado, because just the way he hits the ball and the way he feels, it's just memorizing. You get to look at it and you see it all and it's, it's good. And then probably my number one player to ever play baseball is Barry Bonds. Even though I wasn't growing up in the era that he played in, just watching his highlights, watching how far he hit the ball. I don't care if you say it was because he did steroids, but no, he was a big dude and hit the ball far. So I like watching him play.
Woke up in the morning, came out to Shipyard Park, beautiful Shipyard Park, went to the field, or went to the cages, hitting the cages with Tagger and, you know, hit good, went out to the field, hit on the field, hit bombs, um, threw a bullpen at Tagger and came into the gym for a small little workout. This has been a day in my life.